Hi, my name is Dylan Weddle. I work line service at AFI Flight Training Center, and today I'm going to show you how to fuel an airplane correctly. First thing you need to do is bond the airplane with the bonding cable. This grounds any charge on the airplane, so there's no static uh, shock when you touch the metal fuel nozzle to the fuel port. Because kind of low light ab gas is very explosive, and that can be disastrous. What you want to do is usually the uh, tie down points are good. Any metal surface on the airplane, you can use. When you have the landing gears, make sure it's unpainted metal, or if the paint's been stripped off, you can use it. The uh, exhaust pipe, but the easiest thing is grounding nozzle since it's the closest to the pump. We like to use fueling mats over the area you're going to be fueling. So if you have anything like a watch, something to be sure you're not going to scratch the paint on the airplane, and it's protects the Goes out on our pump. There's a switch right here. You can turn it on. Other airports, usually after you turn in your credit card, it'll turn on. and make sure that you don't rip off the bonding cable when you're pouring the hose out. Try to put the hose over your shoulder so that it's not on the wing. You don't want to try to not, not damage the wing. And put it on here. And if you're gonna put your arms on the wing, don't use your elbow, that could put a dent a lot of pressure at one point, so try to use the flat part of your arm and uh, spread out your weight a little bit more. And make sure you can see the fuel pump, so you have a clear line of sight between you and the fuel pump so you know how much fuel you're putting in. It's a little easier if you're just topping it off, but you should be aware. When you actually touch the nozzle to the metal lip of the fuel port, creating a second bonding point, so in case the uh, bonding cable falls off or something midway through the filling, you're still bonded, so it's a good idea to keep this contact going. And there is friction building up in the hose as they're fueling that can create more of a static charge, so it's definitely a good idea to keep as many bonding points as possible because redundancy is good. Put the hose away, turn off the pump, and make sure everything is away from the airplane. And at this fuel pump, you don't actually reel anything up, as you can see by our sign, but most other airports you do reel up the hose and the bonding cable.